will do well. Enemies up ahead. I will be on Wait! 
target sighted. Emperor door. Now then, Valange, Gaston, Lula. Our situation deteriorates by the moment. I assume you three must have some means of remedying this? Please allow us to handle this, Your Majesty. Princess Leticia is ultimately the heart of Osiris. Take control of her, and all this can change. Besides, our ride will be coming soon. <laughs> Lola, why the hesitation? We do not have the luxury of choice here. How did it come to this? Gah, you mean we gotta fight them too? Lola! Your Highness! If you harbor any doubts, there is always the option to talk this through. Fighting is not the only solution. Says the one that came charging in with a flying weapon. Lola! Lola! I know. Must we fight? We must. We're also going to need that special Duma if we are to enact the Emperor's vision. Uh, special Duma? Is there something different about this one? There are two areas in where I differ from other survey model Duma. First, I am designed to function autonomously, and I am thus severed from the network with other Duma. I have the capacity to act according to my own judgments. This mention of other Duma interests me, but what is the other difference? I am also a combat model. All of the abilities I have provided to you in battle thus far are not found in other Duma. These abilities have value as research. Normally, Duma share their data amongst each other via the network, and their choices are dependent upon decisions made within that network. We are the ones who should be utilizing the powers of that Duma. I have no intention of aiding you. If you understand Duma, then you already know this. Which means we have to take what we want. Now, enough talk. Prepare yourselves. If we all work together, it's We're all for I 
will serve no purpose. <sighs> Magnificent. A fine display of the strong wills that drive you. I do believe I should like to test through the Song of Steel just how well those fierce wills of yours hold up to my own. Emperor Baldor, why? Surely there is no need to fight any longer. I do this precisely because there is a need. The peace of our world demands it. Father, it is over. The Empire is... Gerard, this is merely the beginning. Call this an Empire though we may. In the end, it comes down to the strength of one man. Bear witness to this truth now. Is there no other way? Relinquish your fears. Prove that you can bring me to my knees. Victory is ours! The android Neon spoke of. What is it to you, Raphael? I have hoped to speak with you at length once this battle has reached you. to know and work to let me here. Ha 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 ha! 
Well done, princess. I see that I alone had no chance to be a match for you. Do you see now, Valange? The princess? No, the people of this world are of strong roots indeed. I didn't foresee the inhabitants of this world being so formidable. Even without Duma's abilities, we stood no chance. Colonel Valange! The key is that Duma there. It's unlike any we've encountered, and far beyond our capabilities. We collected some valuable data. Where are you from, Duma? Just what do you all know about Duma? Scorpion. Engineered life forms. Scorpion. You are not familiar with them? They dwell amongst the stars. Wonderful beings capable of plucking all pain from this world and bringing about everlasting peace. As long as humanoids exist as they are now, their desired utopia will never exist. How simple. That's merely how you choose to see it, as an android from Vergold. What are you inferring? Perhaps it's best if you enlighten them yourself. Eh, Duma? Tell them your purpose and identity. Correct. Scorpium is an integration of artificial and organic life. The name refers to our cybernetic collective, which exists to seek out further evolution as a novel life form. I am a probe, created to survey and assess the suitability of organic candidates for integration. An integration of artificial and organic life? Is that possible? Compensating the failings of flesh within organic matter? Such a lure is not unusual. I presume this Scorpion simply works on a much grander scale. Like Elena, it sounds as if their goal is to force evolution's hand through technology. Incorrect. Our primary purpose for integrating cybernetic and organic life is a congruence that draws upon the strengths of both sides to the fullest. We do not seek evolution that extends along a course biased toward one side or the other. So you aren't just cyborgs then? No, the reverse, in fact. It is not so much making an organic base more cybernetic, but Scorpium is rather making certain aspects of a cybernetic base more organic. Affirmative. The observations of the Arnold Robotics Android are astute, as expected. Wait, what? The base is cybernetic? The end morphological faculties may appear as such. However, it is also conscious as a life form. In other words, major philosophical differences emerge when the concepts that form the basis of self-awareness are derived from either organic or cybernetic. These present some drastic differences in outlook. I see. Your sense of self-consciousness as an artificial being has been of interest to me. Since Duma, or rather Scorpium, achieved such a state, they must now be seeking to further evolve themselves by integrating with humanoids. Wait, wait, hold up. I am completely lost here. These are some pretty tough concepts you're tossing around. So how is it that the Emperor is so familiar with this stuff that throws us spacemen for a loop? <laughs> Marielle, an unidentified vessel is approaching the Aster Sector at high speed. ETA to the system is 36 hours. What? A escort, no doubt. Valange, Gaston. Yes. yes. Colonel? Gaston! What is this? Lola, thank you for all of your hard work. It was due to your efforts that we obtained such a marvelous specimen as the Emperor here. We are truly grateful. What? What are you saying, Gaston? Do you mean to say you're going back to Scorpion? Oh, come now, Lola. Surely you knew this from the beginning. Now, the Colonel and I must be going. We have to do our part 
to protect the Emperor. Gerard, I leave this empire and world in your hands for the time being. Forge peace with Princess Leticia. And wait patiently for the inevitable return of your lord. Father! Wait! You think you can escape? Please, I wouldn't try if I didn't think it possible. What in... Mario calling the Akizuki. Send me the trace coordinates of the two who just vanished. I'm sorry, but they've completely disappeared from sensors. We can't track them. Uh, no. <gasps> what now? Another ship is approaching from the opposite direction. Looks like it should be here in 48 hours. I've identified the ship. It's the Aldus, a Vergoldian merchant vessel. It's Antonio. Mariel, how about opening up a proxy channel with your ship? Copy that. Mariel to the Akizuki. Please open a channel to the merchant vessel Aldus as soon as possible. Once the channel is open, patch it through to Captain Raymond's universal device. Understood. Whenever you're ready. This is Antonio Lawrence, captain of the Vergoldian vessel, the Aldous. Who am I? Antonio! It's me, Raymond! Uh, Ray! I is that really you? Why are you using a Federation frequency? It's a long story, but I've teamed up with a Federation officer. There's a Federation ship in orbit around Aster IV, but they are not hostile. I need you to focus your attention on the unidentified ship coming in from your opposite direction. I'll be in touch again once things calm down. Over. Wait, Ray! What nonsense are you talking about? Now, I take it we don't have any leads on where the Emperor and his friends ran off to. No, I'm afraid not. In short... This means we've won? It... It most certainly does not feel that way. Guess I won't be seeing much more of Aster now that Antonio's almost here. Probably a good idea to tie up any loose ends before I head to the council chamber at the Basilica. Anyone home? Hey there. Got some new stuff?
Come again. Thanks. Focus your attacks, people! Anyone home? Welcome to our inn. Very well. We'll be safe behind the Citadel wall. <laughs> I can taste the land's bounty in every bite. Another piece. Love this place.
So Baldor fled. I find it hard to believe. But the reality is my father has abandoned the capital, and the powers of the throne has been transferred to me. Then... Neither I nor the citizens of the Empire ever wished for this war. If your kingdom were to offer peace, we would be most receptive. Prince Gerard, after your good mother was sent to be wed, the kingdom and the Empire enjoyed amicable relations. I ask you now, Emperor Gerard, new sovereign of the Vale Empire, can there be peace between us again? <laughs> that is all I could ever ask. Much quicker than expected. The unidentified vessel is apparently no less than three hours away from Astrofor's orbit. And the Aldous? They are 16 hours out. Unfortunately, the unidentified vessel also possesses speed on par with the Astoria. Depending on what they want, it may be dangerous to take our time here. I <sighs> was hoping we would have had a bit more time. about Lola. Even if we apprehend her and take her with us, our own violations of military law rule out the prospect of a proper investigation. The Akizuki's purpose is to rescue the crew of the Edis. I'd prefer to postpone the arrest of any Virian deserters until we're properly prepared. Letizia, can you keep an eye on Lola in the meantime? Yes. There are a great many things we wish to ask her as well. Great, thank you. On behalf of the Federation, I sincerely apologize for this inconvenience. Oh, nice gesture. Uh, if only I could stick around a little longer, I could gather some intel from her. And take it back to Vergold as a nice souvenir. Sorry for rushing off like this. If you cannot take me with you, then perhaps I can ask that you not leave. It'd be hard to refuse if you did. Forgive me. I did not intend to impose upon you. And yet... Must you leave so abruptly? We have yet to even thank you. You saved my life. Took me in and helped me to survive on this world. Rescued my friends as well. <laughs> it wouldn't be fair of me to ask you for anything else. You have made the princess cry. Hmm. A man who brings a woman to tears is a vile man indeed. Leaving? Yes. Remaining on this world any longer will do nothing more than cause harm. I am hoping this is not farewell forever. No, no. We Vergoldians aren't bound by Federation laws. If I start missing you guys, I can come whenever I want. And if you call, I'll come running. Do not think of staying away too long. I dislike leaving my debts unpaid. Indeed, I formally command you to visit us again. I dare say your name shall never be forgotten in the kingdom of Osiris. Mariel to Akizuki, requesting transport. Ray, I... No better hands for this nation to be in than yours. Yeah.